Week five, guys. Welcome to the four hour project where we're working to build a $40,000 a month business as following the four hour work week. This is where we stop coming up with business ideas and start converging on the best ones. We spent the last month coming up with our market and then the best business ideas within that, and now we need to test them. And testing does not mean just guessing at how much profit we would make, but actually calculating it out with real customers. And Tim has a three step process for this. First, we're going to go through and look at the competitors, see if we really have the best offer in the market. And if we do, we're going to put together a website and direct traffic to that website where people can buy our product. Of course, we haven't made it yet. So when people click the buy now button, it's going to say that the payment can't be processed at this time. So no information is going to be collected and we'll just count that as a pseudo sale. That pseudo sale is going to be used to calculate our profit margins and see if this venture is actually worth creating. Tim summarizes it with best, test, and invest. Best the competition and then test to see if your better product could actually get sales and then invest in the ones that generate profit. Of course, the first step of this is selecting our favorite product. And I have to say I was an idiot last week. I thought that the way forward was physical products, but after thinking about it more, I realized that setting up a business is complicated. This is my first time to the races. And I want to keep it as simple as possible. And digital products are simpler than physical products to sell. That's because physical products are in a space where you have minimum orders, shipping, you also have engineering and film and centers, and you also operate on tighter profit margins. I don't want to have more things to think about than I absolutely need to. And because this is my first time, I want to keep things as simple as possible. So I scratched out all those ideas and moved on to all of our ideas for meditation based digital products. Unfortunately, Headspace dominates this space and it's absolutely impossible to really get in there because there are free programs for every ailment that I could possibly think of. So there's not much that I could think of in here, especially when I did find that that body weight fitness program that I talked about last week as a possible idea actually might have some competitive merit because there aren't any training programs for climbers specifically that focus on body weight training. There are a few books like rockclimberstraininmanual.com. However, I didn't find any specific offerings with a three month program like my offer or any that use body weight fitness specifically or that bring gymnastics training to it. So I feel like I have the best offer on the market. I really do. And I'm comfortable to move forward. So we've gotten our test product, one that I feel has a competitive advantage that I feel is easy to produce because it's a digital product that I have a lot of expertise in and we're ready to move on to the next phase, understanding our market and putting together our complete offer. That's what we're going to be talking about next week. But for this week, I'm curious, what do you think of this approach to testing? Do you think it's okay to sell something that doesn't exist yet? I'll be responding to all the comments you post below. And as always, thanks for getting better.